welcome to Nemi signature and welcome to another video in this video i'll be showing you how to make a simple short gown it's a short, short gown and i'll be using two yards of fabric and this is the measurement i'll be working with the bust is 36 half length 14 gown length 40 hips 42 and the back is 14 so this is the measurement that I'm going to be working with so let's get started but before we start subscribe to this channel like and click on the notification bell so that you get new videos as soon as we post them so let's get started So this is my fabric now, I'll be folding into two, I'll be cutting the front and the back parts differently. So for the front now, I'll be folding my fabric into two, so and I'll be folding with, I'll be folding with my, my biggest measurement which is the hip. So the hip is bigger than the bust, so I'll be folding with the biggest measurement and the hip is 42, 42 divided by I'll be having 10.5 so 10.5 and I'll be adding 2 inch allowance so this is okay for my folding now this is okay for my folding 10.5 then allowance so this here I'll be coming down by 1 inch for my shoulder slope so my shoulder slope. So I'm coming down by one inch. Then the next thing to do is to, to take my back back measurement. Back is 14, which is seven. So I'll be adding I'll be adding half of an inch for the sleeve joining. So I'll be using 7.5. So 7.5 for the back then for the shoulder half of the person's shoulder is 7.5 so I'll be using 7.5 for half of the person's shoulder then I'll be coming down by one inch one or one and a half so from there I'll be taking my bust measurement a bust is 36 the six divided by four I have nine so nine plus two inch allowance so that's it then from the shoulder here to a half length is 14 so this is the half length so from here i'll be measuring the waist then from our shoulder to our hip is 23 so from here i'll be measuring the hip so i'll be taking the hip measurements here i'll be taking the waist measurement from the half length so our waist our waist is 32 so 32 that's divided by four then adding two inch allowance so this for the waist then for our hip our hip is 42 divided by four that's 10.5 10.5 plus two inch allowance so i'll be connecting the lines now i'll be connecting the lines This is a real, this is a real measurement. 
then this is the allowance so this is the real measurement this is the allowance so for the down uh, uh gown length is 40 so 40 now we adding two inch for folding joining and every other thing so i'll be adding two inch for the gown length then the gown is going to be a free a free gown so i'm not going to this down part it depends on how you want it but for this one i would like it to be a free gown so i'll be using the same measurement as the hip for the down part but if you want a shape out of the gown you can mi minus one from your down part or you use your waist measurement for the down part or you minus one from your hip then use the measurement for the down part so but for this gun i'll be using the same measurement as the hip for the down part so this is what i have for the, for the gun the gun is going to be a free gun it will be too tight because i won't be putting i'll be hiding seats in the back so i'm making my shoulder now You want to check how how to draft a simple half length you can check on the previous uh, videos you are going to see them there so the neck part now i'm using 3.5 for the neck width so 3.5 for the neck width and six for the neck depth so and the neck is going to be a v neck so i'm going to make the V shape so like this so this is what I have now this is the neck part this is the elbow this is the bust the waist the hip and this is the down part so let's cut and so don't cut this main this thing. If you cut from here, it means you don't have any allowance again. So I'll be cutting from the second line. So this is what I have for the gown. So I already cut. So this is the neck, neck region, and this is the gown plus the allowance. Moving to the back now. For the back, I'm going to be folding my fabric into two. I'm going to be folding my fabric into two again. So, but there will be zip. So, I'll be adding the zip allowance to the back. So, placing the front piece in the back now. Yeah. And I'll be leaving about. There will be no slit in the gown. So, I'm leaving just a little space. For the it's only the zip after placing the front piece on the back so i'll be leaving one inch for the zip allowance for the zipper allowance so this one inch here is for the allowance then i'll be cutting them. This is from and this is back. So so I'll be opening I'll be opening this side now. So I've opened the back. The back is two and the front is one. So this side is the zip side then this is the front thanks for watching this video this is the end of this tutorial if this video is helpful i would like you to 
like share subscribe thanks for watching bye